Howdy, howdy, everybody. You are back with the Operation BSU Squid Lord presentation of Guild Wars 2. We got surprised today by a new stress test, so I want to cover something new. Uh, last stress test, which was yesterday, I covered the Char Warrior creation, and that was awesome. But uh, today I'm hoping to get a little other alternate non-human action going on for you guys. So let's go through it from the beginning. If you were with us yesterday, you know how much fun this is. But today we're going to go with some Asura action. Short little smart asses. As you can tell, I've got the audio a little bit higher tonight. That's, uh, that's good. So, female, male, female, male. Let's go with female Asura. We've got a chance of being cute. The Asura, not known for being awesomely cute. i got to be honest, they're, uh, they're a bunch. All right, so, Elementalist, no. Warrior, no. Guardian, no. I, let me make sure to get that warrior. See how ridiculous that looks. An Asura warrior, not, not going to happen. Uh, Guardians, that's on the list for tonight. Rangers, Necromancers. Oh, uh, ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Thieves. Thieves always look awesome. There's not an MMO in the world where thieves do not get to look awesome. And Mesmer, which looks ridiculous, but at least it's uh, believably ridiculous. There's no Baird Midriff on the Asura. I, I think maybe they should petition for that. That would be, that would be good. I want to actually go with the Guardian for the heavy armor of the warrior and the little more crazy action weapon choice. Uh, going on there, and and we're gonna go with a guardian today. And just this is a change of pace. So as before, we get to pick outfits. Oh my God! The naked female Asura is wearing a pink swimsuit with "Go Faster" tech lines on it. I'm I think I'm horrified. That's all right though. She's gonna be a little taller. Uh, let's see, what about physique? Doesn't really change a whole lot with the Asura. Oh, and heavy Asura. Let's go with the heavy Asura. Well, the hell not. We're, we're not, uh, we're not afraid of that. Alright, skin markings. We get to, uh, pick what her secondary color is. Let's see here. Hmm. I want to go with, uh, something dark, maybe. Well, there's an entire second page of colors. Maybe a little browner. That's, that's good. The previous one... Ah! Here's where we can change the base color. Which you may want to do. And just sort of, you know, play around with it. Uh, head options. Get to choose our hair. You know and I know there's very little in the world more important than getting the right hairstyle for your... Oh my god! Oh my god. Bald female Asura. Let's not go there. Uh, let's, let's pick something that's not quite gonna send oh that's actually quite cute oh that's that's cute obviously the pedophile groups are gonna be oh 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 that's an asura fro let's let's not go that uh, let's let's go with something that's 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 reasonably cute um and find an appropriate base color maybe we'll give her some crazy highlights Oh no, that changes the uh, the secondary stuff in our hair. Let's let's just make that red so that when we when slash if we eventually get something that fits, we'll do that. All right. Facial expressions. Oh, oh. Did I mention that the Asura are not particularly cute in general? Oh, that one's actually kind of cool. Oh, I'm gonna go with that one because uh, she both looks completely dopey and like she's gonna kill you. I'm not, not not sure that's a bad thing. All right, ears. The Asura, as as many of the other species in Guild Wars 2, have really funky ear choices because you can tell ears at range. Oh, I'm going for the big floppy ears. Totally going for the big floppy ears. Now, the Asura, unlike the Char, really have some reasonable stuff that you can do with uh, their facial expressions. Maybe not so much with this particular one, but, uh, oh, changing the iris size makes a difference on her. Uh, I don't want, I don't want quite that squinted. There, there we go. Little chin, oh, bring it up in the middle. You can change the entire expression this way, really. Uh, let's tighten that up a little. 
Um, oh, look, we just bring that in. Ah, uh, epic music. And, oh, she's squinting unhappily at us. Now, now she looks like she's going to kill you. That's good. That's, that's really, oh, eye color. Well, and I have two panels of eye colors to choose from. Never a bad thing. Nice and yellow would be a, a good traditional color, but since it's a character for me, red eyes. That's what we do. All right, nose width at bridge. We'll tighten that up a little. Nose width at tip. It's actually there. Nose height at bridge. Bringing in just a little nose height at tip. Let's give her a big pointy knee. Pointy cute nose. And make it a little longer. There. So yeah, it, it becomes slowly a character that is definitely ours. And one of the things that's important in Guild Wars 2 is that with those actually voiced cutscenes with the close-ups of faces, this is not all wasted energy. I mean, you will see this character. Other people will see this character if they are adventuring with you. With, oh, her mouth wasn't wide enough. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, let's pull her cheeks in a little. There we go. Turn it into a, quite the little... No, no, not the little hottie. Uh, jaw width. Let's see. I'll leave it out. Asura are not, again, like not for people who want the prettiest characters. Um, that, that would have to be going for the humans and the norns, depending on how you, how you feel about big hot women and big burly guys that, that chooses which are going to play human and norn. The Asura are for the folks who, who think goblins are, are not cynical enough. That's, that's really what the Asura are all about. Oh, ear thickness. Oh, let me make them thin ears. Uh, tip shape. Oh, I can make them kind of curl out. That's kind of cute. And give her a slightly bigger head. Go for the Neotony. For those folks that don't know what Neotony is, go look it up. I'm, I'm here to educate and expose, not to, to teach things you should have known. All right, we're going to go for... Oh, that's, that's nice. Go for something a little different than my usual look. I'm gonna go with something a little more, a little more sedate than my usual. Uh, going for some more of the black. Uh, just maybe a little, a little blacker. Yeah. More black. None more black. And changing her feet up. Yeah, apparently I made her slightly too tall for a uh, Asura, and uh, it's sort of disconcerting the system. That's all right. It's all right. It's cool. We'll just go on faith that the boobs look awesome, like everything else. I'm going to change that to the light blue. Now, notice something interesting about the graphics in Guild Wars. Look at the texture on the metals. You notice we were just dyeing them. But uh, they actually look metallic. They spent a lot of time doing outfit design, layering, actually looking at what materials look like. The clothes look good. They look like something you could maybe possibly wear. That's, all right, that's probably not important to many people, but it's important to me. All right, so like before, we get our little intro here where we do our character generation. As a symbol of my dedication, I wear... Conqueror's Pauldrons, which are those shoulders, Fanatic's Pauldrons, or a Visionary's Helm. Could have Helm or Shoulders. Well, I'm, I like being a Fanatic. And uh, she's stalwart in her beliefs. All these little things have little character things at the bottom. Trouble may follow me, but I use uh, my ferocity to overcome it. I punch things right in the... Well, I'm, I'm like three feet tall. I punch things right in the ding. That's what I do. I'm a member of the College of Statics, and uh, this is this goes back to Asura culture. Asura culture is built into basically groups of colleges. Uh, statics, which are all about the, uh, the sort of the conservative bits, they, they sort of build on what already, already exists. Dynamics, which are the gizmo makers, the energy enthusiasm folks, the getting crazy folks, uh, and synergistics who basically are the theoretical underpinnings and philosophical folks. Uh, this does not strike me as a, a, cons a conservative bunch. 
She strikes me as kind of dynamic. She likes to punch things right in the face. So we're going to go there. My first invention was, because all Asura are inventors, the Vol A Golem. All right. Or the Trans Atmospheric Converter. Always good to have a weather control device. Or an Infinity Ball. All right. My invention predicts the future. So what if it doesn't predict it correctly every time? That's irrelevant. Could it give me an advantage? Reply hazy. Ask again. That's not, not cool enough. We're going to go with a golem creator. She likes to make some hardware. My first advisor, the one that taught me almost everything I know, almost, was Bronk, who was uh, all about superior firepower. That has some appeal. Zynga. Mistress Zynga, good old-fashioned luck. Nope. Blip, known for his redundancies as well as his redundancies. Uh, or Canny, who was uh, a para, uh, an esopolitical parasitologist, uh, which is uh, someone that you can, you know, that's your manipulators. And, and that's the too subtle for, for this character. So we're going to go with Bronk, who loves firepower. Though trouble may follow me, I overcome it with ferocity. I am a member in good standing of the College of Dynamics. My first invention was the Vol A Golem, and one day. My adoring fans will say that I have surpassed even my first advisor, Master Bronk. I'm also modest and underspoken. I'm a guardian. I wear the pauldrons and bear the burden and loyalties of a fanatic. This is my story. Signed, uh... For those who played Guild Wars 1 and remember the original... Asura and Hero Vec in that. There you go. This is this is your in joke for tonight. And now your cutscene. I am Asura. I personify genius. My ancestors were driven from the heart of the earth, forced to live in this bright, wide world. Of course, we've excelled. We exceed expectations in everything we do. With Gollum and Gate and Arcane Crystal, we have asserted our supremacy in this land and made it our own. We will not move another inch. Not for dragons, not for anyone. The eternal alchemy is a fluid contrivance, ever evolving, ever fluctuating. I believe in the power of transformation. I belong to the College of Dynamics. Dynamics crews thrive on permutation. We're always advancing. Morphing into something new. I'm the lever, and my excellent crew is the fulcrum. Together we will move the world. We will force reason from chaos. I've just been informed that defective golems, not mine of course, are causing havoc out in the jungle. Whatever the imbeciles outside the city have broken, I'll fix, and make my name doing so. I'll lead the masses through metamorphosis to an improved future. This is my story. I personally love how understated and subtle Everything about the Asura is. They're so modest and, and emotionally distant, and, and they're just, you know. Uh, that, that just makes me feel good inside. So deeply good inside. The Asura story may be my favorite. All right. As before, I'm going to be moving around a little bit, so if I sound a little far from the microphone from time to time, I probably am. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, as our primary skill, you'll notice again, it's showing us the expanded stack. True Strike, hit it with a sword. Pure Strike, hit it with a sword. And Faithful Strike, 
hit it with your sword and heal nearby allies. That makes me a guardian. I also have shelter, which is, as usual, people's heals. Uh, when I'm charged up, I can do virtue of justice, which is, that happens automatically. Automatically. And only if I activate it, everybody in my group gets a uh, burning attack, and that's, that's awesome. I also have virtue of resolve, which means I regenerate, and I can pop that to heal myself a little bit more, and, along with everybody else. Guardian action, folks. That is what we're talking about here. You there. All right, there let's see. Oh look, no, no, it's not a not a sword at all. It's a mace. All right, fine. Let's go see what Rob has to say. It's a catastrophic glitch in the Golem control system. In brief, they've all gone completely loopy. Find Peacemaker Gezi. She'll get to the bottom of this. Peacemakers, they're no help. Sure they are. Well, some of them are. No, okay, a, a few are. But Gezi's one of the good ones. All right, I'll see what I can do. Uh, I screw you and everyone that you've ever met. Not an option, sadly. Again, if you look around, this is what Asura architecture looks like. It is big. It's vaguely Aztec. And there's more Magitech per square foot than any sane person should be involved with. That's why the Asura are doing it. They're not sane. Alright, let's get in here. Let's punch this guy right in the... Let's get some of this action on. Peacemaker Gezi. And again, we go to a close-up, voice-acted bit. It's pure chaos out here. Unacceptable. What's going on? Just what it looks like. These golems have gone mad. Zoja suspects someone tampered with them. And by someone, she means the inquest. Zoja's rarely wrong. Don't tell her I said rarely, by the way. If it is the inquest, she's going to need help. Where can I find her? At the malfunctioning gate that's spitting out these deranged golems. She claims she could feel them on the other side of the gate laughing at us. Not for long. I'm going to help Zoja shut down the problem at its source. Thanks for the information. So we're off to go this is just fix a test of our emergency preparedness. You all fail. <laughs> we're off to, to go fix uh, a golem gate. Fantastic. Let's see if I can get my hands on the right keys. get some action going here. Little healing, little killing. Ah, uh, my keyboard's a little off to the side. I'm not used to this. It's a little awkward. Alright, and we've unlocked a new skill. Symbol of Faith. Let's see what that does. That uh, smash a mystic symbol under the ground that damages foes and regenerates allies. Well, we do like to regenerate our allies. In a serious sense. Let's try that. Bam! Area of effect. You can sit down, Mr. Man. That's what I'm telling you. Alright, so... Technically, I guess we just sort of continue on through here. Come back here, pig! Want to kill you, pig? Fine, instead I will... There we go, a new event nearby. Defeat the hostile golems coming from the gate. We can totally do that. Destroy the hostile guns. I'd love to. Come 
Back here, Gollum. Yeah, everybody, regenerate a little bit. How about that action? We've got a necromancer floating over our head. Oh, those guys are exploding. That's not good. If any time you see a red circle on the ground, you should probably stay out of it. It's probably something for you to avoid. Speaking of days, you may recognize that voice. The voice of Zoja is Felicia Day. Celebrity voice work. Oh, for a second there, I thought someone dangerous was behind this. Oh, spare my tender feelings. It's true. I'm not dangerous. But these golems are. Here, let them show you what dangerous really means. Why don't all of you give these folks a proper welcome? I have that. All right. I'm not sure what protect Protector Strike actually does. I should probably look that up. First, I should grab that off that body. Okay, let's see what Protector Strike actually does. Surround yourself and nearby allies with a shield. Damage foes that strike protected allies. Grant protection to yourself and nearby allies if you're not struck. Right. Activation sequence initiated. Alright. Activation sequence initiated. Activation in three, two, one. Activation sequence parameters accepted. Shielding, very important. Alright, let's look around here. Then we'll throw up a little shield action. Why not? Oh. Oh, hi. Successfully feeling like a badass, starting now. Let's see if I can't get one of these golems up. I'm not betting on it. Since I don't have any ranged capabilities, I should probably go be helping with the ads. But, you know, I'm not the nicest person ever. I'm sure they can handle it. Oh, look. See? Under control. Under control as expected. Very nice. Very nice. And that puts us out at Metrica Province. Hey, it's you again. I see you survived with your epidermis intact. Of course. Takes more than a giant rampaging inquest golem to get the better of me. Heh, <laughs> modest too. Well, you've earned a dash of praise if you ask me. 
The crews around the city would kill for the assistance of an inventor with your talents. You should ask around. Make yourself invaluable. Not a bad idea. Thanks. But I'm, I'm already invaluable. Oh, no one can, can survive without me. Alright, let's see. Secondary... Uh, going for the shield, for sure. There we go, and if we look in our inventory, we'll see that, oh, we actually picked up a sword. I'm going to pick that up and learn the sword shields and throw the... Go ahead and throw that on there, too. We've got three cogs, which are gray. We've got tiny totem, which can be used for crafting, and we've got salvage items. Salvage items are used in crafting in order to get more raw materials. Not particularly useful to us tonight, because uh, we're not in this long term. Not long enough for crafting, but let's talk to Technician. Welcome to Metrica Province. You'll find private laboratories all over where our crews work on dangerous research, and we pay the price for excellence. Labs need to be carefully maintained, but I'm sure that's not news to you. We see a fair bit of interference from the inquest. They're envious of our advances and covered our research materials. Our researchers could use someone with your talents. On your journey, you may also encounter nefarious events in the world. Don't let these opportunities pass by you. Jump in and help! As you gad about, you'll encounter our Magi Matter transportive devices, more commonly known as waypoints. They're mini-gates that, for a trivial fee, transport you across great distances. They're the second most convenient way to travel next to our gates. In the vast, wide world, a plethora of challenges await you. Some more demanding than others. Watch for the special ones, because they'll give you an opportunity to increase your skill and exceed your own limits. Yes, yes, yes. And perhaps, predictably, again, in the overhead, you, you can hear real thunder. That's that's real thunder coming, not uh, not not in-game thunder. So we're going to play just a little bit longer. We're going to look around here for a moment. This, again, you got to you gotta give it to the Asura. They really know how to make a techno-magical fantasy come to life. And that's, that's good. That is a good thing. We're just going to look around and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Probably quite a bit, if I know me. We'll just kind of go on down this way. No, oh, support Dula's Golemancing research. Experiment on sleeping golems. Participate in RC Golem chess. Provide data for golem assistance and repair power down control panels. All right, let's see if we can find anything to uh, do with that. Excellent. So, uh, you know what? Uh, Thunder's getting a little bit overhead. I I think we're actually just going to call it right now. And if I have time afterwards, after the storm passes, maybe I'll get back in and shoot a little more footage. And we will see some more of the beauty of Metrica Province. Province. It's a wonderful place. It's, it's a province. All right, folks. I'm the Squid Lord. Check in with us. Stay tuned. And we'll get some more crazy action coming up later. Yay. All right, here we are back after the storms have passed. Thankfully, we can return to the killing and the destroying and the, the stabbing and the... Yeah! So, as I had said, just re arrived at Metrica province, and we're just sort of here about to help Dula's Golemancing research. I just had switched to the sword, and we hadn't looked at the, the weapon yet. Sword of Wrath is the opening attack, followed by Sword Arc... Followed by send out a cone attack, striking up to three foes. Yes, I'm pretty happy. Uh, if you'll notice, a lot of the opening attacks for all of your weapons involve, you know, three three shot combos. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and see if we can't find some action to get involved in. Ah, uh, we found a place there. Oh, let's activate this control panel. Ah, all right. Wow, I just got rubber banded. Mmm, I've... It's like it's a... It's like it's a beta or something. Oh, wow, there is a lot of rubber banding all of a sudden. That's alright, though. That's okay, somebody else got uh, some of that powered down stuff. I now have a wrench. 
And uh, the wrench actually has its own attack, smash or pommel bash. Alright, let's see if we can't get this thing to, to happen. I'm going to drop that wrench for the moment. Alright, let's ether charge it, and now let's invert the mood manager, and prime the resonance overfield, and then activate the golem. Manual reboot required. Manual reboot required. Oh, well, that didn't go well, did it? Let's see if we can't uh, get him back on his feet. A little XP for that. Does not look like it. Alright, oh, oh, no, stuff's going on. We helped Dota. We got some experience. Oh, yeah, we'll just double back so that we're outside the explosive radius. Another thing. That's wonderful. Oh. Yep. And then it explodes. Oh, look at more rubber banding. Wow, this is not looking good. Wow, somebody has uh, turned into uh, a Naga. It's a little awkward. Clearly... There is some stuff going on with this particular test. Oh. oh. Got out of the way again. Ha 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 ha. Let's, let's go get away from him. Let's go find something else that we can get in trouble with here. A lot of rubber banding. I believe that uh, the answer here is... I believe the answer is that there is some serious... Well... They are seriously working on the server today. Alright. Somebody is... Somebody is looking for a, a golem fight. I don't really want to get into a golem fight. I really want to go find some... some trouble of various sorts to get into here. Wow. Serious lag. Guys, talk to this thing. Call an assistant. Ah, scanning intelligent life form detected. Will you provide data? Of course I will. Ah, yes. It's going to be one of those things. Uh, I'll record your data. Okay. Use the staff. All right, we should uh, try this out, I guess. Uh, lightning surge. Why not? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, I, mm. yeah, that's, that's an experimental staff, all right. What's this, uh, shockwave? Let's try that. Oh, that worked out all right. Uh, fiery shield. Let's give that a go. Oh, that, that, that turned out all right. Didn't explode on me. Uh, nope. Maybe, maybe a little, well, yeah, stop, drop, and roll there, kid. Stop, drop, and roll. Ah, uh, we're a little burning. Okay, so there's one last thing. Healing rain. Let's see if that works. No. <clears throat> well, we've, uh, we've helped out. We've got... <laughs> your data has been recorded. Notice that we increased our golemancing research help here. That's fantastic. Wow, there is a, a lot of... They're seriously working on the servers tonight. That's all right. It's all right. Calculating efficiency, power core unstable. All right. Explosion in five, four, three, two, one. Blah, 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 blah. This has been a test of the Gollum. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of rubber banding. I, this is not the first reporting I've I've heard of this tonight. They did give us fair warning. They are testing stuff on the servers tonight. I'm I'm just uh, glad I could could help out here. Oh, well, let's try another staff run. Lightning surge. Oh, it went off that time. Fantastic. Shockwave. Let's see if that goes off. Nope. Caught myself in a bit of a whirlwind. But a fiery shield. How could this go wrong, right? Uh, that one seems to be okay. And I'm waiting for healing rain to recharge. It's like at a 180 second recharge on it. How how strange, you might say. And you would be right. Oh, come on. In the meantime, we'll just sort of look around. Notice there's somebody else actively involved, Metal Seraph. No one gets really upset. It's uh, when you're when you're helping do missions, pursuing things. It's it's kind of awesome. Oh, looks like he uh, managed to get himself shocked over there. I don't know how that happened. 
<sighs> Let's try that. Nope. I punched Virtue of Resolve. It should have done something. It should have had some side effect. Oh, well, there it goes. There we go. Man, there's some serious lag. Serious lag. I will not torture you or me too much more here. Uh, as much fun as this is. Also, why are my ears in the air? Just wondering. Just, just a thought. Why are my ears sticking straight up in the air? That's a little awkward. That's okay, though. It's fine. It's all fine. Ah, oh, healing rain. Do, 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 do. While that recharges, let's run up here. Why not? We're looking here. I bet, oh, that looks like a jumping puzzle. Now, you gotta look around for these things. I bet you there's a vista around here somewhere. All right, no, not over there. Let's see, nope, 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 not here. Is there something I can jump on? Aha! Gotta keep an eye out for this stuff. If you saw the char video I did, you'll note that there, you know, there's usually some sort of vista or viewpoint around here that it, it'll show off, apparently. Oh, hello, I can't talk to him, but I can use the healing rain. In theory. There he goes. Oh, managed to freeze myself to death. Or at least freeze myself a little bit. Did get a little research. Oh, hello. A little research aid. Man, I could swear. I could swear there's supposed to be a visitor in here somewhere. It's not on the mini map, so maybe I'm hallucinating. Just badly remembering. Wouldn't be the first time that happened. Hmm. I'm kind of sad because I managed to make that jumping puzzle. I don't always do that. It's all right, though. That's why we invented gravity. Thanks for the sad music. That sad music is uh, striking close to home here all of a sudden. Oh, look. There's uh, one that's not rezzed. You know. Hmm. Somebody else hoping to revive him. Fantastic. Alright, the jungle boar, which I am trying to attack. What? Yeah, this is obviously a little bit much for our recording. So, I don't want to leave you guys with, with uh, a bad taste in your mouth about this. You know, welcome to betas and stress test weekends, which are pretty much designed purely to see how much load you can put on a a server and, and still keep it running. So, rather than, uh, you know, torment you with crazy, crazy things that are rubber banding and popping around, I'm actually just going to bring this video to, to a bit of a close. Oh, wait, before I do that, something interesting here. In the Asura area, there is a sort of basically remote control golem fight. Um, you actually get to play this game against other people, and, uh, you have multiple attacks on the, it's, it's basically, you control it. So, I, it's, it's really, it's an interesting sort of setup, um, not for the least reason being that I seem to be at a bit of a disadvantage here. Let's see, come on, push the button, Frank. Push the button. There we go. Fight! Punch! There we go. Punch him again! Punch him, you fool! I wish you to hurt him in a big, ugly way. I want you to damage him. And, all right, we're just waiting for that to go through. Oh. And there's a, an actual power-up over there. If, if I could get to it, which I can't. Did I miss him? Oh, goodness. Oh, nope. I won. Yay! Won a golem fight. Makes me feel better about myself. But anyway, the Asura area is, is interesting in that they seem to be playing a lot with a, a few more mini games and things. And that's really cool. I mean, that's different. It's not something you see in all the starting areas. 
and I think uh, that's a, a developmental direction that Guild Wars has that a lot of other MMOs don't. Uh, the original Guild Wars in uh, Eye of the North, we all have a place in the Eternal Alchemy, even when you went to the Asura area eventually, uh, there was a, a game called Polymach, which was basically very much like Pokemon, basically. It was a, a pseudo-card game with things you could collect. It was, it was very odd, but strangely fun. And I'm glad to see that they're sort of maintaining that sort of motif, that sort of style um, in this, this sort of thing. It's, it's, I, it, it pleases me. It pleases me. Yes, I will check out one of the toolboxes. Clearly, having some more issues here. Okay, we've got a we've got a wrench. We activate it. Oh, and we completed we completed the area. Look at that. And he just sort of oh, he wants to fight. All right, fun. I haven't managed to to get in a fight with anything yet with a sword. All right. We managed to complete that area, which gave us some karma and little mail. It says, hey, have some copper. Uh, what I would like you to do is, is come on by. And uh, the Snarf Prize is waiting. This is our this is our next step in our personal story. We want to we're in competition for the Snarf Prize, counting our massively impressive golem to win. So there at the Battleground Plaza. And if I wanted to complete that right now, I, I could, and it's probably not a good idea with the amount of, of rubber banding and lag, at least while I'm, I'm recording this. So I'm, I'm glad that I could do this for you. I'm glad I could bring it to you. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to bring it to a close. I want to remind you that Saturday nights, we do a little show called Operation BSU Live. It will be on Google Hangout this week. Um, we'll be doing video and audio. We'll be talking about Guild Wars and, and probably a number of other things. Uh, as well as doing Trailer Trash. Where we talk about video game, book, movie, and anything other trailers that come up. We'll be reviewing those and bringing them to you for your edification. You know, stuff that makes you happy like that. So don't forget to join us on Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern on Google Hangout. You can get to us there by going to tinyurl.com slash plus Operation BSU, P-L-U-S, Operation BSU. Or if you are already on Google Plus, you know what? Just hit plus, plus sign, Operation BSU. And circle our show page. That way you'll get all the updates during the week, including articles and videos, and including this one, um, as well as anything else that comes up. I want you to be aware, and I keep you in the circle. And I'm just, just glad you could spend time with me. So, from all of us, and by all of us, I mean pretty much me, to all of you, which is probably the six of you watching. Oh, look, a frog. I have to murder it. Uh, yay, frogmer. Uh, you know what? Come join us Saturday. Tell me how much you enjoyed this video, or how much you thought it sucked. And uh, then I will probably cry, and, and you'll get to feel better about yourself. This is the Squid Lord signing out with Vekavry here in Metrika Province.